LEC on a 10th place team, he was at the top. Did you guys ever see each other naked on C9? Mm. Like, no, we always had the lights out. <laughs> Jensen saw my ass once. Yeah, I'm trying to remember. I feel like I've seen a lot of stories. Uh, or I've heard a lot of stories of like people walking in on unfortunate moments on each other because it's just what happens when guys live together. Yeah, it's just a natural guy occurrence. Oh, wait. Seeing each other's all the time. Mm. There, there was that one story, remember in Korea, Sneaky? Which one? What, 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 what I was saying? High and Lemon? I, I don't actually remember it. I remember oh. something though. I mean, it wasn't anything like super crazy, but it was just like literally that. It was like, remember that horrible bunk bedroom? And then yeah. I had like his own room. Yeah. And it had the drying rack on it. And so Lemon like went into the room to like grab his clothes off the drying rack and Lemon like didn't have his glasses on. And Hi was like beating it or something when he walked in. <laughs> and then Lemon like didn't know because he couldn't see shit. He's just like getting clothes and Hi's just like, Lemon, what the fuck? <laughs> BDS, we're literally about to play a fucking tournament with Hi. What the fuck? <laughs> what? He's told this story before. Yeah. Oh, really? It's you know, the, the hardest part about living in a gaming house is finding a way to beat off without your teammates knowing that you're beating off. That's <laughs> that's know, that's the hardest thing in the it, world. Like, I would I try, try to do, do it like during like, like, during. Like, <laughs> <no one paying laughs> attention. I knew you were gonna say that. Dude, do you yeah. guys ever try to see like how often you can beat off on the LCS stage when you're playing like without getting caught? Mm. <laughs> Man, I tried to I, I try to do it like as, see, see how of often I can do it while co-streaming. Ooh. No one notices. That, it's that's so, it's too easy on co-stream. It really is. You guys can only see the upper half of my body. All right, dude. You, you, you're you're starting to get my my stream a little not family friendly. Let's try <laughs> to steer it back in that direction. They have the super scaling Seraphine, but Seraphine like needs to pair with something else super scaling. Otherwise, she obviously doesn't scale. So, uh, yeah. this is this well, is weird. So. I think what they're probably looking for here with the Callista pick is an, a really, really early soul. Because they actually have a nasty comp for early soul. Plus, like, t look at Liquid's comp. They're so scaling. Like, they showed Victor and Scion, who's, yeah. like, you know, non lane dominant champs. So if C9 just has, like, three winning lanes and they just stack Dragon from five minutes, I think that's probably what they're going to look for. Because their I comp think, is insane for that. I think they could totally get the first few, but there will come a point where C9's comp runs out of damage unless they're pretty ahead. Like, I, I don't think of Seraphine as high damage, obviously. No one does. Um, and then Callista has to bust through three tanks before she can even touch Victor. Think about touching Victor. So, as far as, like, HP bar is moving at, like, 15 to 20 minutes, I don't think C9 should be able to win unless they're really ahead. I feel like TL's comp, their HP bar is just... They're not going to go down. If you don't I touch... I don't think they'll have enough time, personally. I, I like I would rather be C9 here. The, the problem I see with Liquid's comp is, like... At what point do you ever get breathing room when you're up against something that just like like they don't have any pushing lanes like they have no prio in this game? That's it's true. It's true. The prio is really bad. Actually, this matchup Zaya versus Callista is like the perennial like Zaya loses forever, 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 and the only way that Zaya could ever come back into the game, I guess, is if someone CCs Callista and then you get the the chain into you know a bunch of feathers rooting her, bursting her down. If you leave the carries alone, Callista can literally just run at you like just start throwing her fucking autos through the wave to jump at you there is nothing you can do about it and oh my god they have full vision this is oh. so good if if fudge can bait this that's a double kill and blabber knows this is warded i do see him what is going on this is Wait, so oh bad shit. what's armeo doing man oh shit this is a double he, kill this is a double kill what the fuck was that oh my they saw him the they time. saw him they saw him the whole time oh boy he's on god. a ward that was there's, really bizarre. There's no universe where that was gonna work. Wow. Yeah. Fudge literally solo killed Hecarim. There was no assist. <laughs> he just solo killed him anyways. So that was like triple bad. I think it was probably the issue of like maybe his top laner was saying like, okay, my wave's pushing out and I'm fucked if you don't come. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. really a gank. More of that. More sure. of a, oh, I see. Oh shit. Is it a dive? They are it not is, gonna it be is. six. It's it's definitely oh, a kill on core. Ooh. It's hundred percent a kill on oh. That's a good time flash. From tactical. Wait, shouldn't they kill Wait, tactical? Tactical of core? in again? Why what? did he go back in? That that was Wait. really strange. I'm pretty oh. sure you just give up core there. Yeah, of course. You just give up your support. Like your support dies for your sins, right? But he, he he's gonna execute or not execute, he's gonna die to turret. Oh, and house it was healed. Good. It was a heal by Sven to to get the assist, right? Is that what happened? Wait, what? Has... Oh, Seraphine used heal. Yeah. I see. It's so crazy. The first eight minutes of the game 
Blabber did four things, or like set up four kills, I guess, and then <laughs> it's just just over. Yeah. It's over. Yeah, we're gonna need teal to actually try something soon. Thirty yeah. seconds on drag. Well, what can they Herald. do? Though? I mean, they don't have to fight. They don't have to fight. That's all. Just I would have, I would have probably went Dragon Slayer this game if I was if I was tactical. It's triple tanks and they have Seraphine shields. I I understand Gale Force obviously against Ally. It just I don't know. I think they're not like gonna that. have any damage now. Although maybe they'll just exhaust. So Tail's doing what you were saying, like sacking waves to get the early setup. <laughs> and C9 yeah, and just then runs just right through anyways. it. My God, he dies instantly. Slams him. Holy fuck! Look at Blaster. C9 wasted no time. I mean, Tactical yeah. wasn't even there, though. I don't know. Yeah. Tactical greeted for that extra wave while Zven was already on the move. They need everyone to sack, and then they just fight. Because otherwise, yeah. it just looks like this. Early setup looks so troll when yeah. when no one's there. Uh, it, you, it's tough, though, because like, if you do commit entirely to sit in the river, like give all your waves for the dragon, C9 can easily just be like, okay, like you just lost a shit ton of waves. We're just going to get a big XP lead on you and give one dragon. It's not necessarily like you're. it helped you. If you do that, yeah, yeah, I just figured like they're just slow bleeding. Like they have to choose their fight. Yeah, big time. Uh, through I don't know. Oh, oh. I didn't. Oh, Q flash. Oh, he's fine though. Kalissa's gonna ultimate in a sec. Wow, Armeo. And there's a lot of their tools. Did Ar Armeo literally did a one inch ult away, but it was it's like I, I don't know. I don't, know yeah, I don't know who he's going for. So weird. He he didn't. He wasn't gonna die, and he also didn't fear anybody. So now he Holy now shit, he blabber? Might, oh blabber went fucking ape. Oh, that oh was, this could be really good for this could be really good for TL. This is this is First definitely what TL needed. Just fucking extra spicy. They're sacking throw. Vulcan. Just run. They're sacking him. So run. Wait, Vulcan kind of got out. He sacked himself for perks, I think. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yo, yo, yo! They're, they're gonna have to give this. They're gonna have to give this. What a humongous throw! Holy fuck! Really? I would humongous. hero play it if I was C9. I, I don't think you can. It's kind of awkward. It's impossible. It's like all fudge, I think. Yeah, I it's mean, impossible. you have a Renekton, though. Oh, Renekton's shit. Wait, built Zven's, for this. Zven's fucking the ass. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe it was a bait. Okay. Renekton? Renekton? Q, 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 Q. Oh, he's okay, it's not enough healing. Murdered. Oh, God. Wait, he's alive. Oh, my oh, God. Fudge oh. actually lives and stops them. Oh, nice. Wow, that was a miracle, man. Sven Holy literally shit. got hit by every fucking victory ability for, like, 10 seconds in a row, and then his shield bow proc, and he got a million heals. He, like, was in Victor's face, Victor W behind him, and he had to walk through the W to get out. I <laughs> so know. He got stunned. <laughs> oh, yeah. shit. I guess they're just gonna close and here... my Oh, my God, Fudge, Fudge is, is gonna have to ult spot. instantly. Yo, I, think uh, I don't like the way C9's playing this. They're kind of giving tail what they need. Yeah, now it's just a fucking... Oh. They're just gonna smite off. fucking YOLO it, I guess. It's I think Fudge should jump on our Mayo. Combo on... Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh it's... Oh, wow, this is oh really god. shit. That is a massive wombo. Tactical's... Tactical's alive. Dead. Tactical's oh, alive. Oh he my lives. god. Oh Damn it. my god, C9. They actually threw. And yeah, now it's a blower. I guess they felt that they couldn't push into TL to like zone them back, but it, it, it is a weird angle. It's just the classic play Callista against fucking Rel and enjoy your life. It's wait they going to Baron? Miserable. Oh shit! Yeah, I think I think Baron's gone. It's three v five, and no one no one has enough damage to pull him off, right? Like their damage dealer is Seraphine here. Yeah. Wow. That's true. It's, yeah. I, I think TL wins like after this. This, is, this. this game is so in TL's hands now. This next drag, what should they do here? Looks like they're yep. not postured at all. They're gonna give, and if you're gonna give, I would have really liked to see them send someone top already. So like have like Zven just run top like probably ten seconds ago, or okay never mind they're they're gonna contest a drag I guess. Yeah, it looks like a ball. It's just a ball versus ball. Uh, they they don't want the game to go any later. Fudge is bot lane right now. Armeo is on the flank. I think it's good. Oh, I think Zven oh. is fucked here. Oh, never mind. Good flash by him. Oh, big Seraphine ulti. Ooh, Ooh, tactical damage. Oh, they flashed on tactical. Another flash. Tactical's, tactical's they can't alive. Reach. It's over. Oh, yeah, they can't reach him. That's a really good Hecarim ult appeal. Yeah, it's Blabber over is now. Armeo's dead. actually playing Hecarim well. He's playing, yeah. A lot of people will play him Heal like Hecarim. fucking troll. Oh, shit. Oh, oh shit. How can they kill Victor, though? They can't kill uh, Victor. I don't think they can. It's Ooh. over. Is that game? Oh, it's yeah. game. Yeah, I think it's game. They can end yeah, here. Yeah, it should be.
Unless Fudge does some they, bullshit. They have the damage. They're kind of stalling. They're not going to end. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're just going to get. It, they, I, I don't think they would have been able to end. No, I, I think. I don't. I don't think Renekton would necessarily be able to defend, but just the, the how much they push is pretty slow. Yeah. yeah. They they wouldn't get the Nexus down. Like Udyr and Ali would be up by the time they're like. If you're not gonna first if you're not turret. gonna get like Nexus turrets, I think it's always better to reset and get the first move because like after this replay's over, you're gonna yeah. see like TL's already out on the map and TL's already pressuring C9 to sit in their base again, as opposed to like recalling and giving TL a turn. In terms of gold difference, that fight didn't change too much. They were down 1k before the fight, and after the fight, they're down 2k. Um, Just look at this Victor, though, dude. Yeah. Victor seems like such a power pick. I mean, it's it's winning almost every game. Jensen can run it down with Victor and still win. So. God, who are they looking for? Is it a fudge flank? <laughs> it's a fudge flank. <laughs> Jesus. Hard searching. See, I'm getting different angles, which is good. Keep them they tanking the Baron. Like Keep them tanking Baron. I don't the like this from better. Teal at all. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't so really understand cringe. why they're... I think they're trying to, like, zone Oh, Vulcan the is going to have to ulti instantly. Good position for C9. Okay. Good yeah. position for C9. This is a good flank. Ooh. Oh! Wait. Oh, that's three dead instantly. Wait. That was a fucking nasty team fight for C9. I think yep. you have to get more. You have to get more. Like, run it down mid with this wave and top as well. Both, both, both. Get Baron at the end. I think get Baron in the last possible second here. Let's go. Somebody go top. Okay, whatever. Fuck uh, it. No I one's going to go top. I, I, I don't think, think mid and him is enough. Like It looks like they're trying to end. Yeah. They're going is it to an end this. angle? 18 seconds? I don't think it's an end angle, but it looks like they're... they're it, it might be. Considering it. I don't so, know. it's only tactical up in 12. Mm, yeah, they're going for Our it. Our might make a mistake here. Armeo's in, killing himself. I mean, he's Why don't they kill him? It's actually decent. Just kill him, dude. Yes, just kill him. They should kill him, in Baron. Okay, now, yeah, now you can okay. go back for Baron. Yes, good. Th that's that's what it means to get more off of a couple kills. They yeah. postured for it. Yeah. The enemy team yeah. does it so slowly. He, Pretty much everything. It's gonna be really hard to get a good fight angle for TL though, because Renekton's on this flank. I think they can win. I think they can totally win this. Vulcan is dead instantly. Oh, Vulcan got instantly popped. Oh, shit. Zen is dead oh, instantly. Gone. Oh, oh, shit. shit it's Fight's another over. Threat. Fight's <laughs> over. Oh. That's Baron they can get Baron now. Jesus. Yeah, now TL's going to get Baron. So C9 pushing mid actually kind of griefed themselves, so they just didn't get Baron. I don't really know what the best play there was, honestly. Like, you just go straight Baron, I guess? I mean, my, my initial instinct You should have killed Armeo instantly. Like I think I think going down mid and like baiting them I mean, to, they're looking to kill for the themselves end, though. Yeah, 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 I mean, they, they were definitely the threatening the end. But, I, I didn't think they but could it's end. Impossible. But I, I I don't think so. If TL fucked up, they could. Yeah. Yeah, it, it looked pretty close, but I, I think Armao like doing that on the wave made it not possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah like he defended well, but but him him dying is like their best chance because they get this four v five. They just played really poorly afterwards. That's that's really it. Their best chance for what? To to get more like. To, to kill him, to make the enemy team run at you and Baron, and it's 5v4 situation, you get a good fight in again. Like, I think having four people on the Baron was a pretty big mistake. Like, they, oh, they, they, they need to know that they can't do Baron, and instead, like, they get a 5v4 fight again. They're using Baron as a way to, like, pull them in. Oh, shit. We get a soul fight here? Yeah, soul fight. Oh, C9 can't Ooh, do Fudge it, has man. a pretty good angle. Oh, never mind. Oh, he, he's player. actually pushed out oh, of there. Oh, it's just, it's just their, their drag. I think C9's oh. gonna get it. Oh my god! Another steal? Oh my god. Greg never misses a fucking smite, dude. He Not on drag, miss. dude. Wait, this is so bad. This is GG. Yeah. Dude, Sven... Oh my god, it's over. It's over. Sven it's let him die without ulting. Oof. Oh no. They, they, they just kite. I think they just go base. It didn't matter at all if they got the soul, though. Like, it's cool that Armeo got the steal, but it didn't matter. They're gonna lose the fight afterwards anyway. How does he anyway. just keep running up and grabbing it? I don't know. They had Callista Rend as well. They're not talking about Rend Smite at the same yeah, time. Mean, Rend is absolutely terrible now. I mean, but it's I'm still sure you it's know still one it. k instant burst. No, it's it's not even one k. Really? You'd have, yeah. If, if Callista was solo hitting it, then it's one k. Like if she got it to low, but that's like I impossible. See. Ooh, the, the cyan ult. This on is the that was that was kind like of it. a troll cyan ulti. Yeah, I think they might be able to defend now. Oh. Yeah, that might have actually been troll, but it did hurt the turrets. It did hurt the turrets. <laughs> You're not the boss. Oh shit. Oh, oh, oh shit. Oh, Sven is one HP. Okay. 
Uh -oh. Sven is still That's one HP. Kills. He died to Victor oh, ulti for no Sven reason. Died to the fucking ult. Did he just stand in it? Yeah, he just stopped moving. Taking a little bath. <laughs> it's actually crazy to think about how broken Three Clouds is for TL specifically. All five of their ults are broken. They're yeah. some of the best ults in the whole game. They are very high yeah. impact. I, I can't think of better ults to have on fucking Triple Cloud. I mean, these are just five monster dicks. Maybe Rails ult's not super crazy. I don't know. Is it not crazy? It's RW I mean, it's is like good. the champion. Good, but like, look at Sven here. Look at Sven here. He runs back <laughs> into it. <laughs> yeah, he fucking jumps yeah. around a bit. It did. I, it did kind of. I can like sympathize. I can sympathize. Like he, he, he thinks he can like life steal while dodging the ulti. It's. Yeah, like not a crazy I, I didn't think it's he funny. was gonna die watching that, but like obviously after he died, we yeah. knew. But, Victor yeah, Victor ulti honestly should not be that fast. Hard to blame him for that one. I think really, it's actually fine for the really? ticking rate. Did, I, you remember it from before? I think the move like, speed of the of the storm is like a little bit oh. too fast after they buffed it. Oh okay. I, I don't I care about the ticking like the, rate. Yeah, I thought you were talking about that. Like, yeah. She has 90% efficiency, but but still, the crit is just so good that, like, even if that's 90%, it's better than the other thing. And look at how fast Blabber dies to, to, oh, to fucking Zaya. Got that's shredded. five auto attacks. Ooh, how far he grief? I, I think Blabber needs to base. Why is he staying? Oh, he ulted? He, he ulted Yo, into guys, the give, turret. give the soul the and go turret. do something else. Victor's soloing Dragon right now. Gotta do something else. Yes, I don't good know. From TL. Uh, they, oh, I, I, she did not die. Ooh. Oh, they, they I like got C9. both of tacticals. Oh, shit. Wait, Jensen's off drag. Gang bang, gang bang, gang bang. Oh, my God. C9 loses so hard. Wait, Armal? No, C9 loses uh, so hard here. Yeah, I don't think C9 can win this. Wait, what? They, I mean, they used a lot of shit randomly. Wait, what? Go C9 back to that. Baron, 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 Baron. Yeah, just trade soul for Baron. I mean, trade soul so for Baron. Tactical was so far out of the fight, he wasn't at all hitting. I don't think he autoed, like, once until the very end. Wow. And then he used all of his shit just to get out. And Armal full ulted backwards, like just yeah. to disengage. Why, why did they, yeah, I was I was about to say like they they win that fight so fucking hard if they they just commit to to the fight and this seems Can so they run bad. Can Victor though? I feel like Victor would penta them now. No, I'm, I'm talking about TL. Like I think Armal needs to ult in and oh, and just yeah, commit to the okay. fight. Like Victor is just blowing everyone up. Any CC means like fucking nine hundred eighty Victor, dude. He just sell Magi, buy Magi. Here, I don't think you care about the mid wave. Um, oh, maybe you have to because they they can end on you if you go Elder. 30 seconds. Yeah, at this point, it's a little weird. Good to pull chunky. Up. Good little chunky chunk. Wait. Oh, nice. And they got Scion to ulti. They need to clear, clear the mid wave. Having good ults. They need this to clear is... the mid wave. They can't. They can't. Oh, so TL weird. is in such a good spot, spot now. They can force the end. And then C9 has to run all the way back to their base. Yeah, we'll see how this has played out. This is very difficult. Are they going to trap themselves or are they going to just win? <laughs> oh. Okay. They're letting themselves get flanked by Renekton pretty hard. Oh. Jensen's in a weird spot. Ooh, Jensen wasted his stun. Oh, yeah. That's what C9 needs. Ooh. Vulcan used ulti. Jensen's pretty much out of the fight. Oh, tactical. Tactical one shot! Holy gang bang. Okay, okay, but Victor's still alive. Victor's, dead. Victor's still alive. It, it doesn't matter. Up. This is yeah. really good for TL still. Give me a tactical oh, dead. Oh my god. I don't know if they can do Elder that easily. They're not going to have a lot of consistent damage for it. Like, the only damage is Victor. There is, like, one Hail Mary, I think, in this case, and it is Perks TPs the second that he's up, and they force the fight when Tactical's still, oh. like, respawning. Mm -hmm. Or, like, still out of base, not respawning. Yeah, they can get there faster. They have this super, super tight window when Perks is up that he can be there, like, a couple seconds before Tactical. Ooh. Oh, C9. It's a face check. Oh, Jensen oh. showed. That was troll. I mean, they're just yeah. not camping anymore. Is all. Fudge, get the crab. Fudge, get the crab. That's actually so big if they can get the crab. Then they don't have to face check anymore. And this is this is the window. This is this very, very tiny window. Seraph all right, up. perks TP bottom and TP. back door. And I think you just have to force something right here Wait, because Taxel is on the I way, I don't but he's not there yet. Window. There's no it's window. There's no window, actually. Perks Fuck, they don't have no damage. damage. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, wait. Fudge? Fudge gets solo uh -oh. killed? Oh, oh. No. That was pretty bad for He's Fudge. pretty chunkied. Alfari's also getting chunked. Vulcan's getting blasted, too. This is so funny. Whoever wins this smite fight is going to win the game. Oh, my oh, look, God. Look, TP going to base and TP back. Can he even do it? I think they're going to cancel yep. him. Nope, oh. they didn't cancel him. Yeah. Oh, Rels engage oh, got canceled. Shit. Oh, Udyr's oh, down. Blabber's dead. 
Oh my Yo, god. Yo, guys, you, you literally have to finish Baron. Oh my god. Oh, oh got it. they got it. Oh. Tactical flash of steel. That's GG. 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 Oh my god. Holy shit. Tactical flash. That was a fucking it. crazy game one. Holy fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty banger game. And that just goes to show how quickly Callista Udir can not become humans after a great early game. True. One mistake. Yeah, it was actually so fast. Like, they had the massive early game lead up to 20 minutes. And then the second they take a fight at 20 minutes, they just lost. The sneaky got biggest stick. No, I got smallest. And what did you say you got, Medios? <laughs> at this point, I'm pretty used to playing. Uh, I got biggest. Like no. And, uh, I got most likely to become the next double plug. <laughs> Holy shit. I got least likely to be the next double plug. Damn. Jesus. But you proved them wrong. I proved what are the odds? Wrong. I proved those haters wrong. Actually, that's a pretty weird ban from TL. I don't think C9 really plays Jinx. No, Sven played it in the last series. But does it? Re does he really play it? I think feel like he plays it occasionally. But I don't think Jinx snob man. I mean, I, I don't think anyone actually plays it in, in A. Keeper. No, but like they they legit don't play it. Like fucking uh, TSM play it one game. It's just like yeah. they're like, all right, man. Like we'll we'll try it. We'll see if it works. Oh, we fucking lo it's garbage. You're not picking it again. That's how it always feels. I think that Zaya and Kaisa are always relevant. It's like more stable to play them. Where the whole game is not predicated on like the AD carry player, like I guess with Jinx, it can be you run into the risk of like dying instantly that yeah, other you, AD carries you, don't have. You have to play around the Jinx, where you don't only really have to play around the Kaisa mm -hmm. or the Zaya, because they're kind of self sufficient. Whereas Core. Sven is super sunburned, or is the camera looking weird? <laughs> I think the camera must be weird. He was looking normal before. So actually, one thing that was funny is Soren told me. I... Soren told me that when Sven gets really angry, his face turns bright red. <laughs> so he's either really mad, or the camera's fucked, or he's sunburned. Hey, it's got to be like a camera thing. Simra's pretty fucking good against Malphite Ori. Or maybe this whole fucking Woo! between games, he was just out in the parking lot beating the shit out of Blabber. He's like, "Why the fuck did you flash in?" Kicking him on the ground. He's still pissed about it. Jesus. He's like, next game I'm putting you on the fucking horse, you won't be able to flash in, bitch. You have no flash. That's what you think, man. Blabber's gonna find a way. He always finds a way. Dude, I am so excited for this game. Hashtag Bryzen 5 you all chat. <laughs> what a game! Buckle what a up. game! What an amazing series! I mean, this one was kind of on cam. Oh shit, we got a gank from Blabber coming in. Gank, 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 gank. Is it going to amount? Oh! Yeah. oh the E was it. almost gonna fade. Like, it's the angle. Damn. Man, that's the hardest part about Hecarim, knowing exactly like how to time your E and space it. How to press yeah. E and fucking run at them. So you yeah, think that like, you need you to think know that exactly his auto spacing was good? E, when to, like whether to commit ghost or not. Because mm -hmm. if you let it run out, you're fucked. If you hit them when they flash, you're fucked. What is this Hecarim's is E called? His Devastating charge spacing? New, space. new terms? His devastating charge spacing. Well, he yeah. Just That's what you're saying. Both at the same time, right? Right there? Yeah, here he did. Amazing. Uh, really? Like, yeah, well, when I go oh. off roll. Um, oh! Far like, usually goes pretty well. Oh, wow. freebie for, oh, for heck. Oh my god. Alfari's just getting destroyed by Fudge. How is Two he even. Back to back solo kills. <laughs> Jesus. After Wait getting a sec. Counter picked <laughs> as well. Yeah, I don't know if these are solo kills to be exact, but yeah, he is dying. Dude, no, it's fucking solo below ye ye we pee. Yeah, I guess that's true. So I think Storming like one thing this. that the junglers don't think about when they're smiting is to like look at the HP and then use smite when the HP goes below that number. Oh, and oh. it's fucking Prix is dead. Prix is dead. Prix is dead. Prix is dead. Is he dead? Wait. He's not taking very much damage. He has Merc Treads. Armeo? He doesn't look very dead. Oh. oh! Oh! Really fucking oh, nice wow. play. That was a really sick Hecker Malt. Really Dream. nice play, dude. The patience on his E was. I mean, that's what you're talking about, where you ult first to get the CC so you can set up to push them back. Okay, my question during that was did Blabber know he didn't need his cum tank or did he forget he had it and not press it? Probably <laughs> forgot. Probably forgot. Because that definitely that's... looked close as hell. You should always use it. Like, why would you not? Yeah, for sure. Nar as well. Being I think. Squishy. I think when you guys watch, oh. Rel, oh. she will die instantly in a fight. Oh, Rel, shit. Rel will die in like three seconds of people hitting her. Gale creates opportunity. Isolated Q, and then also the fact that you can stealth 
and Gale Force auto to get your ulti to self oh. to self plasma. And Alfari oh. might die here without doing oh. anything. He ulted already, so he's just totally fucked, right? Ooh, ooh, good oh. flash by Perks over the wall. Nice this could be bad flash. for C9. Ooh, fudges. Fudge has to flash. Dead. Looking kind of dead. Core's gonna go. Core's gonna go. Late. Yeah. He hesitated. He's like, maybe I'll save my flash, but by the time he decided to, he's already gold carded. That whole sequence was so bad for C9 because they used two flashes and they only got Nars. So every one of TL's flashes, well, maybe not Udyrs, but the three major flashes are going to be up against Malphite. Even Jensen can stopwatch it and Tactical can spell shield. So I wonder how they're going to play this. Look at Fudge's uh -oh. ult CD. He might be trying to sync his TP with his ult CD. And it's coming up in like right now. Oh, yeah. He's so, yeah, right he's deeping now. Right on top of. Hood kill Armeo. Nice Ooh. fucking ulti. Ooh, nice. Oh no, it's oh, there's no oh, damage. Wait, they don't have no damage. damage. Literally Where's Sven? Tickling. Why did Sven not ulti? Jensen's not there. They just get drag. Yeah, that's he, he fine. But I don't know what he ulted though. What happened to his ult? So perks was nowhere near. What a humongous misplay if that's what happened. I mean, that's two kills, a hundred million percent. He kills two people there. Yeah, that engage looked nasty, and then they just didn't have the damage to finish anyone. Yo, c instead of watching mid farm minions, can they please show the replay? Like, uh, uh, give me the replay! It's just so cringe that they don't. It'd the be fun. Yeah. I I'd be okay with that change. Like, uh, W cooldown low. Yeah, I guess. This is Perk's dead instantly, I think. He's going to get gold carded into a fucking. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, he's fucked. Oh. Big, big, huge big shock kicks. wave. Is Vulcan Chunks dead? Alfari, Twenty yes, percent. Dead. This could be Baron for TL, man. I think it is. It's two kills. Isa is so bad at dealing with fights like this, where the enemy team is like uh, has a formation going. So Blabber has to go for the steal. I would say they just have ults. I don't know. This could get weird. We'll see. Mm. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't think this it. is super free for TL. I mean, the good chance of getting it stolen. I think Let's it's see. extremely oh. free. Oh, that was nice. Tactical shield. Wow! Sven flashed out! Sven flashed out! Yep. Oh. Oh. Still oh. Baron. <laughs> Holy shit, Sven damn. Wait, how'd he out. die? Was that a Q? Yeah, I think it was an auto. Wow. Holy Sven shit. is misplaying so bad. Maybe Sven just gets cursed when playoffs come around. Wow. I'm gonna see it again. Oh, he he fucked his cleanse. He, he fucked his jacket. cleanse. Dude. Oh yeah. Oh, that was dude, a kill he, on Jensen. He flashed out the second mouth at all. Yeah. Oh C9 no. C9 about to get outscaled again? Yeah, I think they are. I think it's doomed now. Malphite is such a bad pick against a uh, mid laner that can use Zonia's easily and and Sivir. It's just you, you can't ult anything. Just have to preemptively do it. That's true. Yeah, here, Zven, has no, Zven has no Zven has no cleanse here, so he's just oh, gonna shit. get trained oh and die. My god. Oh, oh, can he Gale Force out? God. Gale Force nope. out? Gale Force out? I can't tell what's happening here. It's kind of a banger. Perks is Perks is nope. dead. Yeah, That's Perks what's happening. I think old here. They just gotta run. They yeah. lost all their damage. They, their damage is actually dead. like really low. It's Damn, just, that is looking like game. It's it's game. Yeah. It was probably game when when TL got Baron and was like four K gold ahead, and now they're. They're gonna be like 6k after this. So you're saying Perks needs to get upset before he's gonna play well? Yeah, he's like Goku. Like, the longer he's fighting, the stronger he gets. Mm hmm. Oh my god. Core is. Yeah, looking he's dead. pretty dead. Bonk. Got his flash as well. Oh shit, is this the throw from Liquid? Could be. Maybe. They are well, pushing up. Can get off of this? Oh, wait. This is pretty awkward. Blabber's uh, inting. Blabber is real It's pretty in awkward. There. Oh, pretty awkward. nice God. play, nice play. It's pretty nice awkward. Play. Never mind. They are trolling their minds, but they're not no, going to end the good. game here. This, this is, is actually good. Yes. Holy Whoa. fuck. E this TL is the shit I love about watching C9. I, I, I swear to God, no other team goes for that yeah. in NA. That was sick. That's they're such diving, a They're diving in a turret over. when every other turret is still up. Alfaro might get caught here. There's no flash. Full on base diving. How far he might get caught? He's a flash. Get him, boys. W? Dead, yep, dead, 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 oh. dead, dead. I think he's dead here. Oh, yeah, that's give it Perks took it? Perks took it? That fucking scrub? Give it to Hecarim. <laughs> wow, they're shredding Baron here. Yeah. I like it. There's an RTP coming in top. Oh, they have to. It's just dead. Oh my god, so they're not finishing it. 
Oh, not Tactical's flip. Tactical's dead. Tactical's dead. And so is Sven. Sven is dead too. Oh. But Pricks, oh, Pricks is, is full he? HP. Nope. Sven is oh alive? My god. That is GG. Maybe. No way. That's not GG. That's, no, that's they, they can't end. They can't There's going to be so many more fights here. after this. How did Sven huh. live that, dude? He was stuck in the middle of everybody. I yeah. don't know. Did they run out of... I mean, I guess Tactical's dead. Yeah, I, I understand. Yeah, maybe yeah. everyone else just... Their shit was on cooldown. Rakan makes AD carries surprisingly... Rakan is like that like weird enchanter uh, engage hybrid. Like I feel like his shielding and healing must have made an impact there. I'm going to watch. Just want to see how did Tactical die here. My god, you're so fucking... Okay, whatever. <laughs> I'm yeah, just saying that I've, I've spell shielded every Malphite ulti on 70 ping, man. Tactical needs to step it the fuck up, man. It's not hard. Ping actually doesn't matter. It's just something pros complain about. Mm. It's an excuse. He knows. He knows he fucked up big time. Yeah, yeah that one's kind of he weird. Up. He's also playing in Malphite's face. And yeah. I, that, that's like some one of the more basic things for AD carry is to like focus on your positioning first and then worry about doing oh. damage. And wow, that's a, that's a big Holy fucking pick. Holy shit. That I pick is going to snowball really hard for them, I think. I feel like as soon as Liquid let up their map control for like a second, or maybe it was just when C9 decided to start buying pinks and get some control back, they've just been finding so yeah. many picks. Mm, is this is not an end. Is. This is not an end. Please don't try. Do you think it's not? Because like no way. Just compare how both teams were playing before and after. They mean the pink things. I don't think they really yeah, have any though. Huh? Guys, run, run, what go back to drag. Have? No, I mean now they're placed. Like C9 has four pinks on the map. Pretty shit ass pinks. Guys, why is yeah, Sinai trying to end? It's still like they have some vision control and TL doesn't have everything lit up. Because when you have this much engage, I think it's really hard for TL to play when they don't see where everyone is. Because then, like, a lot of paths that you can walk down become super unsafe. Because you're but not going to use W. The angle isn't right, yeah. Yeah, okay. Do you I press W it's... first or R first? You press that? R first, you go RW. And then okay. look at this TP by Alfari's Mega. Oh. Alfari's Mega. Oh. Holy oh. fuck, that's damn close though? to a NAR show. Not quite. Oh, the Oriole T hits nothing. Oh, it goes wide. Sivir, ah. Sivir, Sivir. Just Sivir things? Jesus. Sven still Ooh. has multi. Blabber, Blabber. Actually died oh, shit, right there. Dude. That Ooh. Oriole was fucking whiffed hard. Bad. That's a full build Oriana ult, too. That would have hurt. Yeah. I think he got one range minion Just with it. Just not using it even would have hurt TL so much. <laughs> like, literally sure. just stopping everyone from walking up. He got the minion, so maybe it was like a tempo ult. I don't know. That's true. They are first out on the map right here. Yeah, yeah. There's no way you're getting that much damage out of having extra AP. No, it's, no. D DPS for sure. It's it a really hard. big multiplier. L look at this. They're getting Baron, and they're actually oh. winning the fight on the other side as well. So Core just Core dies instantly. Murder. Oh my god, finally, Tactical Spell Shield, the first Malphite ulti of the game. Thank you, Whoa. man. Another Oriole. Sven! Oh, okay, let's go. The Zonias did absolutely nothing. Thank you for using yeah. it, though. <laughs> <laughs> Literally useless. <laughs> Here we go, Sven. Oh, oh. Brr. Okay, GG, GG, GG. Well played, That's boys. That's gonna be a C9 dub. Every game that the team that gets ahead in the last, like, two days, they always lose. <laughs> always, always yeah, lose. Getting ahead. Just not get ahead. Just, just run it just down simple. early game. Oh, how can wow. this be? How could this be? TL knew how comfortable Perks would be if he was down 0-2, and they could not allow it. They had to sacrifice this game to avoid the buff. Damn, that's true. It's actually a funny ass story that I'm a cutie pie. Actually, catfish people in season one to thinking that he was a girl because he thought it was fucking hilarious. <laughs> and it like worked. Yeah, I believe it. Actually, Chouster got catfished, and it was like the funniest story ever. Like, by but also really pie? sad. No, 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 not by a cutie pie, by someone else. So it was like this girl who, um, they'd been talking for, for like, probably over a year, and they, you know, they started like e dating, right? How it is in season one. When they were about to meet up, she was asking him, "Do you still date me? If like I, I didn't look like how I look like, like what if I was really ugly?" And then at that point, like catfishing wasn't really a big thing and he yeah. didn't really think anything of it. So he told me, he's like, oh, she's acting super weird. I was like, oh, wow. I, I didn't think it was a catfish either. I was like, oh, that is really weird. You know, I guess she just wants you to know if like you like her for her personality or not. And so they met up and she obviously looked nothing like she was a lot uglier, a lot Ooh. less attractive. And then he told me like they spent a weekend together and like they tried to have sex, but he was like really put off by the fact that, uh, by the fact that she didn't look like what she looked like. So, you know, it was, wow, it was a tough. That's tough performance <laughs> really you know what i'm funny. saying it's a tough performance and so I like i would have just like i would have just left right instantly away. 
Yeah, I, 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 I would have. I gotta respect I mean, that like he I stuck around. I would have choice, but I would have had a crazy family emergency and just had to go. <laughs> it's like, holy fuck, dude, I left the oven on. I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can't dude, imagine that. That's let me tell you guys, anytime a girl in the modern age doesn't own a webcam or have any pictures. Hmm, little sus. Little oh, sus. I mean, 100%. I'm no Amogus expert, but that's a little sus. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's 100% sus, and it's like, I don't think girls should, like, have to prove that they're girls, but if someone is claiming to be a girl <laughs> all the time, right, but then, like, refuses to have any sort of proof, then, like, there's, there's no reason to trust <laughs> <laughs> No, because, dude, the thing is, like, we live in an age where catfishing is super prevalent, so I think it's a reasonable thing, like, <laughs> if a guy and a girl are, like, talking, like, they're into each other, I do think the girl should, like, it's courteous to just, like, provide proof that you are who you say you are. Prove you're a girl, Monka Young. <laughs> I want to see the birth certificate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think, I think asking for a valid ID is reasonable, too. <laughs> <laughs> I see. It's, so like, uh, it's like when you go on Craigslist I mean, is, and dude, you're looking like, for a car. I, you I need to have you multiple have to... angles <laughs> of the yeah, car. Yeah, I, I think you just gotta be like, all right, you know, uh, this is weird, but I need to see it. Media, this is the kind of guy where girls out there do not talk to media. So he's gonna be like, send nudes right fucking now. No. <laughs> no, he just wants your uh, ID. I mean, your social security number. <laughs> oh your, passport. <laughs> your passport. Your passport. Bank statements. I gotta make sure you're not a gold digger. Hmm. <laughs> Gotta make sure there's a there's income here, dude. I gotta say, there when I sometimes Lena shows me her DMs on Instagram, and the guys are super into financial domination. Have you guys ever heard of this? It's when guys like offer to to like just straight up send you money or buy you stuff. They don't want anything else. That's mm. just what they, all they want to do is financial domination, like buy you things. <laughs> and I'm just thinking, like, dude, is this person like they don't even know if Lena's real? Like that could dude. be a, a fucking yeah, that dude. A forty-year-old dude <laughs> with sweaty armpits and dad bod. I've definitely heard of. I heard of a thing in Korea where like dudes sponsor girls like that. Like you, they just pay for everything. Yeah. And I guess like the implication is in return for sex, but yeah, I mean, dude, that shit's pretty weird. Maybe that's the fantasy down the line, but I just, dude, those guys have a lot of fucking money to blow. I guess. Anyways, that's how I ended up getting financially cucked, but Ooh. it's all good. Didn't you and Travis Gafford have an arrangement like that a while back? <laughs> what? What are you? You know, don't ever say those words ever again. <laughs> what are you saying? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were streaming. Yeah. My, my, no, guys. No, totally didn't happen like that. <laughs> what? Guys, let me tell you. Sometimes friendship uh, takes a different turn. By the way, are we gonna ever talk about the game or? Uh, karma. Karma. Victor. Love it. Yeah. Draft is well, so cool. <laughs> yeah, I, I just think the reason people pick Karma usually is to try to like lane Kingdom top lane or something like that. And I think that's pretty fucking big meme because it never happens. I don't think. But it I think if you really pick her just wins. be an enchanter, it's not bad. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it's supposed to hard win or anything. I mean, that's the reason a lot of people will play it. They're like, "Yo, dude, this guy can't do fucking anything against me. I'm gonna fuck his mom." Like. I mean, I think that was with the old itemization, no? Like, I think it was stronger in terms of damage. All but I know is it just never works. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like the comp looks weird with Nocturne specifically because Nocturne is going to want to go in and yeah. he's not going to be able to. And look at this, Alfari is actually dead. Uh, it was Ooh. a nice little like back and forth by Fudge to fake recall in the bush. Alfari has been dying yeah. to every gank uh, today. Well, he really Starting has. The Scion game, he died to every gank and, and this one too. He, he needs to step up his like awareness. Oh, wow. What is Armeo doing? What is Armeo doing? Oh what is Armeo doing? Oh my god. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. Is there any world where that would have been a good play? Holy shit. The second he walked forward, everybody with an eyeball could have fucking known that that was awful. Dude, during that death timer, Alfari fucking texted Santorin and said, How's your head feeling, dude? <laughs> you won't believe what just happened. You won't believe it. Did, did you see this? Looks like Jensen used his TP first, so his will come up faster than perks. Um, slight advantage. I remember back in the day with like 80 carries TPing, like the, oh. the first TP was pretty good to get. And no flash Flabber's on Blabber means he's dead. dead. He's yeah. gone. Yeah. He's definitely Damn. gone. 
Oh, damn. That's so bad. That's, that's blue given over to Jensen as well. Yeah, that's So it's going to fuck over mid lane even harder. Really unfortunate. Mm. Fuck you. Okay. Woo! The triple you think that's a kill there? Philios R flash with the chakrams? Budge is dead. Oh shit, wait. Oh, what is perks? going on here? Perks? Why did Perks deep? Perks' victory is actually perks? embarrassing. I, I feel like I've seen this exact thing before. Yeah. Oh my god. God. Perk's victory is actually Damn, so dude. embarrassing. When... Is C9 about to get 3 0'd? <laughs> yeah, XD. Yeah. Oh, baby. We are getting Ocean the team fight cheese. here. Ooh, I don't like C9 hitting it. Wait, I don't like Karma Mantra queuing there. That is really troll. Oh. Vulcan dies. Is this even a Wombo? I don't no, think they have damage no. at all. No, dude. No damage. Oh, my God. No Wait, damage. Wait, fight's over. In. Oh, my God. Dead instantly. No way. Wow, dude, I, C9's comp <laughs> literally doesn't have damage. Dude, yeah, I, I swear to so God, bad. Fudge is griefing the fuck out of that. Did you see what he did? Yeah. Like, when, when you play Karma, you, you never match your Q in teamfights. You always just match your E. Yep. It's literally so powerful, but he just griefed the fuck out of it instantly by starting with it. Oh, that flash. Wow, it actually gets him out. Amazing. Jeez. Oh, no. They've been sniffed out. Oh, Jensen oh, is dead. Yes. Flash. Oh, oh, ooh. Oh, oh, oh doesn't nice. matter. Yo, Perks is actually doing the one shot Victor build. I think I, I really like this against Aphelios. I think Aphelios has absolutely no way of playing the game against a Victor doing this. It's like Luden, Sorks, plus fucking anything third, like Death yeah, Cat, like, Gale might help Lich Bane. I think the fact is, though, that this game, the threat on Aphelios is so much lower than normal because Karma does no damage to him. And Nocturne might as well just be an ult. Like, he's not gonna auto him ever against fucking Gale Force, Thresh Lantern, Exhaust. It's almost like single threat. Perk's got a lot. Do you see? He just bought a full Zonias. Yeah, he fucking flashed to get the kill on Jensen. That was good. This could be a throw. Oh shit. TL could throw here. They can't Perks ever can stop. Here. Nocturne doesn't have ult. Wait, it's just dead. Yeah, actually, it could just, just finish die it. instantly. Oh. They just kill it. They just hit the fucking bear. TP behind. Blood. They could lose Not the fight afterwards. The steal. Oh shit. Jensen ulted Baron. Ooh. Jensen ulted Baron. Wait, Sven oh died. Oh my god. They are getting cleaned up. Yeah. Oh, they? Yeah, they yeah. are. Well, they, them being TL, yeah. Yeah. TL. Yeah, dude, that was weird. I thought Blabber was going to go for his steal. He actually had time to get behind the pit and flash in, but he had time, yeah. So 20 TL seconds on drag. actually have to contest this soul. They don't no. need to walk into C9, and I think... They're going for the really high-risk play where they're like, oh, yeah, shit. we're going to fucking fight you for it. But I yeah. think C9 has a positional advantage here. Perks needs to, yes, keep doing that, but probably not on our Mao. He's not taking damage. Fudge is fucking trolling. Another oh, Mantra my. Q. Look at the damage on our Mao. He's almost 95%. Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> Just wait for that Mantra to come back up, guys. It's going to be hitting hard on this one. <laughs> Actually, pretty short. No, please, not here. again. Please, not again. <laughs> oh my god! Bro? Hey, I think uh, Monster it, Shield's looking Vulcan? pretty fucking oh, good no. right now, guys! Wait, they missed everything and then they're hard engaging onto fucking Udyr? Our mount dies. Oh, nope. oh Udyr smited the dragon yeah. for health. Yeah, he had to. For prosperity. Oh my. Another Mantra Q missed. Just run. If you're C9 here, you're so happy. Just run. I don't know who the fuck is telling him to Mantra Q every cooldown, but. Fudge is griefing out of his mind. Yeah, I mean, I guess they're trying to zone, like, push him back, but... Oh, they're smashing Baron. Oh, Jesus, Sven. You can't be there when the Baron's up, dude. You just have to sack that wave, and, and now this it's... Is... Blabber's gonna look for steel. I mean, if he can't actually see anyone, he can't go in. No, he oh, will now. My god. Yes, he gets, he gets oh it. my god, he oh, gets he it, he gets it. it. Give him up, give him up. Just let him die, and, and actually die fast. <laughs> no, 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 save him, save him. He stole the Baron, reward him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Selfish team. Oh wow, oh, shit. that's a great GP ulti, actually. Uh, they have flashes, so they're probably fine here. Oh, oh the, the real stun misses. Missed. It's okay. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They're fine. They're fine. That's Unless... a fat fucking shield. Wait, they're going in. They're still going. I, I don't think oh. there's an angle oh. here. Oh Whoa. my god, that was. Ooh. Okay, so Perks has no flash. I don't think it matters too much considering he has Zonias, but this next team fight tactical will have it. That's probably more important. Perks is actually going to have the last laugh if G2 did 
didn't make it to the finals for the <laughs> first time, and then he ends up winning LCS, dude. True. That's gonna be a very vindictive feeling. Oh, look at Blabber on the side here. Yeah, that engage is just Rel so awkward. Rel might die at the back end of this. Just flash, but yeah, okay. it's hard to go in. Oh, good flash! Wow. I think C9's comp is so awkward. Um, they have this powerhouse Victor who's great at front to back, but they don't have any CC or front line. Yeah, and so yeah. it's like Victor is like the odd man out, even though he's the one who is carrying the game. Like everyone else wants to dive, but their dive sucks ass. <laughs> uh, kind of worried for them. Yeah, I mean, or, or you can ball to help counter it. Oh no, They're having a have front to play line for like this steal. for vision control and Nocturne feels so fucking horrible. Yeah, that's yeah, quite but the junky. Ooh, Perk's getting hit. Dude, I, I just think shit's dead. Yeah, it's, it's, my... oh, it's wait, fucking good unless they go right I now. Oriel was sick. Sven's, oh Sven's my fine though, he can still ult him. It's over. Oh. Oh, Wait, it's did fucked. that whip Sven out of his ult? Yeah. Yeah, it did. Holy shit. Boom! Just auto zass to death. No Q. Holy fuck, that Oriel was insane. Dude, that was so nasty. That was like the perfect timing. I'm, I would. I'm... I would really just never want to see Karma top against carries. I think if it's Gnar, if it's GP, it, as long as the champion is like a human champion, and not like a scion, I, I don't like it. Team I don't want to shit on LCS, so but if, if TL wins LCS with a sub jungler, I... I don't know what League of Legends is anymore. I just want to see Armeo versus Canyon at MSI. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad for Santorin in the sense that if his team wins without him, he would feel a ton of job insecurity. It's like, why would the team not go with the jungler that they just won LCS with? At least giving him a chance to like split scrims, but at the same time, it's like so unfair. Yeah, it, I mean, it sucks dick. But part of the thing that also can suck, though, is, like, maybe part of the reason this team has gotten so good is, like, through the practice with Santorin. Like, maybe he was able to, like, he yes. was able to learn a lot of stuff that now you can transfer to any player. Yes, exactly. I, I can see the buzz perspective where it's, like, a, a team pays a player for all the value that they bring, whether it's teaching your teammates the right ways of playing the game before they discard you or just playing well and not really providing that like fundamental improvement over the course of like practice and in the end like the team is going to do whatever is in the team's best interest and the player should realize that like you got to do whatever you can for your best interest because a lot of the time it's probably not going to be aligned right like you want to get paid more money the team wants to pay you as little as possible like you want job security the team wants what's best for for them i, I do feel a little bit bad for santorin because i think he's a seems seems like he's a nice guy and he was playing he's a, he's a really good dude yeah he's doing well and TL might just 3-1 C9 in the finals and that might be fucking doomed for his career. This is, People are gonna fucking meme the shit out of this but I feel like one thing that people don't remember about like that Dream Team 2016 TSM Worlds where like I got one shot by Victor at the end is like the almost the entire group stage Soren couldn't talk. He lost really? his voice. Yeah. But like it's so stupid to bring that up because then all the fans are gonna say like oh you're making an excuse like why would you even bring that up you guys just suck you choked XD like but actually he got so fucking sick, he could not talk. Uh, his yeah. voice was like, it sounded like, I don't even know, like rocks grinding against you. It was so bad. Tank it and get pushed away, and I, I hate that. I mm -hmm. think I'm scarred from playing against, like, oh, oh but nothing, nothing, nothing. Level 6, level 5. If, if Fudge was 6, I think that might have been a kill, though. Oh, my God. So, oh, shit. The another one? Repeat. And, and, and Fudge is almost 6, just needs one more creep, one more creep. Oh, no. Oh, wait, he knows, he knows. He knows. I think he's dead anyway. No! Fudge! Oh! oh wait, wait. Oh, okay. Anyway. He's dead. Wow. wow. That, yeah. Needed a little bit more commitment. I I would have actually liked him to flash for it, but they don't have to, which is even better. It's like a little accident, but I mean, even better. What, what you should do on Gragas is if your target doesn't have a way out, like Nar had no jump, no flash, you just Q, Q him first so he's slowed, and then you ult him. Yeah. It's actually way easier to get good ults if you just it's, slow him with Q first. It's amazing that Blabber is able to get that gank off and steal the enemy jungle. Like, it feels so illegal for him to do that. Look at Alfari right now. He's at 95% mega, and there's a good TP ward. He's TPing behind. Oh, oh. They're, they're angry. They're going. Oh, shit. Perks oh. might die instantly. Is probably gone? No, not gone. No. Looking Blabber's really bad dead. for C9. Really bad for yeah. C9. Need to Damn. get him. That ward like, behind was so good. Go more. Oh, wait. Perks is... Uh-oh. Oh. Oh! Uh oh! Oh! Perks did it. He bubbled him. 
Tactical fucking grief, too. Oh, yeah. This is that fucking close, really by the way. This is so close. Now. Chris and Smith, there's a lot of flashes oh, on the ground. Holy shit. There's a man, lot of oh flashes on the ground. Look, 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 look. There's so many flashes. Oh, he doesn't want to do it, man. There's like there's like two more flashes on the ground. Okay, he's just going to use it for fun. This is actually potentially soul. Ar Armeo needs to... S wow, if Tazwell just threw the entire series on that one play, he's going to feel so fucking bad. Well, they got another game. Yeah, well. I mean, at worst, it's one more game. Yes, Damn, Mount it's actually over. Mount that's soul. That's soul. Fucking the most OP. Yo, Mewios, you keep you keep peddling Mountain Soul. I still think Ocean and, Cl and Infernal are better, man. You'll dude, you'll never trick me, dude. You'll never trick me. It's fine to be wrong. It's <laughs> not a big deal. And, and this is a situation right here. The the fight is totally won, and then Taxwell pulled the me versus Victor, where he goes up for more, and you have to just ulti the sleep right here. Yeah. The fight is over, by the way. He Completely totally over. Perks Taxwell's just right you you needed to ult. Wait. First, yeah, right? that, that's like old man reactions. That was a really easy ult, no? Yeah, yeah he yeah, real it fucking griefed it. It was yeah, super, that super, seemed easy. super easy. And Tax was oh. totally fine. Oh. He, had, he had to use Gale Force there. And Ooh. oh wait, that wasn't Flash. Nope, that was just Gale. Uh, look at top though. Jensen's caught. No, no, he's not. Okay. Does he see him? No, he's. Oh, maybe. maybe no, they, they barely didn't see him. Wow. Look at Sven's items. Yeah, dude, he's Jesus. fucking cracked. He is absolutely cracked. Pretty thick. Oh, not a good victor ulti by oh, Jensen. Oh, no. Ooh. Fudge. Yeah. He, no, no, Fudge is fine. fine. I, I yeah. actually really like... Oh, oh. my god. Holy Sven fuck. Is that Sven. Sven trolled. Sven trolled. He's fucked. He's fucked. Yeah, he's fucked. Oh, oh big shutdown to tactical. Oh, my god. That's probably Baron. That, that could very well be the series. That's that's that could big. be the series once again, ladies and gentlemen. No, I don't think <laughs> That, just like every other play, could be the series. And that's game. That's game. All right, cl close it. Cl lock it in right now. Close no, it's, the it's... curtains. That is it's definitely Baron, though. No. That's definitely Baron. There's no smite on perks. Yo, Mountain Soul not looking that powerful right now. Oh, yeah, you're right, dude. Mountain Soul Wait, really so looking kind of weak right now. Saves him there. See, think about <laughs> the healing in his stopwatch promotion. <laughs> <laughs> Huge. Yeah, so it could have been kind carry, of massive. It's just massive AD carry choking over and over and over again. Gale that was a really good pretty flash powerful from, uh, right now, guys. I don't know. Oh my god, Fudge. Fudge. Basically standing still and <laughs> Fudge like, misses the ult. <laughs> dude, the thing is, if you're going to do that, use your Q and or Everfrost before the fucking ult. Like, wh it, if you're trying to bait his ult, why the hell are you throwing it raw and also, not even hitting him with it? Sven gave Tactical, like, the perfect flashback with all of his feathers. Yeah, yeah that was... was perfect. Either can work. It all just comes down to execution. On TL's side, they only have really one big option, which is Wombo Combo with, like, Rel and Nar. I think playing front to back, playing the CC chain is, like, the only way. They're never going to dive. Oh. Oh. How is that not a Gragas ult angle? Are you kidding me? Tried. Why is that not a Gragas ult angle? Alvari literally just dashed in. Oh, oh. Oh. This is bad. This is so bad for Tactical. Oh, He's yeah, dead. Tactical no. died instantly again. Oh. Wait, Sven is still untouched. Though. Yo, Sven is still completely fully alive. Yo, oh, guys. Holy shit, dead. Fudge. Just ran it down. Oh, holy yeah. shit. Tactical gets fucking bubbled <laughs> in the middle of his team. Oh, I got so excited, dude. I wanted to fucking E through the wall right there. Yeah. Hmm. Don't. Oh, wow, they're actually going in for the fight. Jesus. Oh shit. And Core. Core's looking for Hex Flash. Watch him. Oh the wall. shit. Jensen has Flash here. Wait, hey. perks? This is C9, and they're gonna oh, get the kill. They're, they're, they're gonna kill all three. Yeah, they're gonna oh, kill all three. Oh no. Oh shit. That so, so why did TL like go for that? TL went for that because they think their chance of winning against Elder is so low that it's actually more high percentage for them to take a three before fight. I don't agree, but like I can follow it at least. That might be the series right there. Shut the and fuck up, Minus. I'm gonna fuck. All right, you know what? I'm just Dude. only gonna do duo cast with my boyfriend. That fucking bubble, bro. Oh my yeah. god. I mean, dude, every Zoe that is good is like a fucking magician on the champ. I swear to God. How did that hit him? I don't know. They, like dodge everyone else and hit him. Because Zoe's so fucking random, XD. <laughs> Is it time to be behind? They can see it on the minimap. I would be surprised if C9 yeah, can see it on their the screen too. Oh. Alfari's mega God. now. Oh, it's still Sun Sven. But he has oh. QSS. It doesn't matter. It, do it doesn't uh -oh. matter. He is alive. C9 has a pretty Alfari. good 
position think, for this. I think they're going to clean the fuck up. Yeah, oh, it's Vulcan GG. just solo killed tactical? Oh, yeah, what the fuck? Huh? Wait, he actually got no assist. How did Vulcan just solo kill tactical? Actually, Is that how the matchup goes? Yes, that's how the matchup goes. XD. I am mind fucked. Okay, he must I'm have been checking. He's fucking ass beat look. by his minions or something. Oh. oh my god, he was, dude. He was getting <laughs> slammed by minions. Wait, what? Dude, what the dude, fuck? Dude, that cannon minion beat the shit out of <laughs> That can't. Dude, those, those minions were doing like fucking 200 DPS, I swear what? to god. What? He literally that's gets funny. destroyed. The cannon hits so hard, dude. He's an actual cannon. What do you think how far he thinks? He's in the back line, like 1v4ing, like barely Guys. gets out. He looks his AD carry is fucking solo killed by support. The Guys, fucking pens or tank. Isn't is Taxwell just failing every reaction time test the whole game? Like, I, 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 I just don't want to, like, harp on him so much because everyone makes misplays, but he's he's been doing this the whole Wait, series. Wait, did you see his ult? He ults nothing. Yeah. Now he has Flash and Gale Force. He gets comboed by Alistar. It's so easy, man. <laughs> it's so easy to just play Zaya against Ali and ult his ulti. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's okay. It should happen. But, like, wow. That was so funny that he, like, misplayed like that and then dies to minions. <laughs> Everyone on Twitter is talking about it. What the really, fuck? I, dude, maybe maybe Ali's is just the fucking damage start you need on Vulcan. Still don't know if it's Tristmid. Oh my god, Cho'Gath? Oh shit! Uh, if they don't go Trist mid though, they have like very little damage and Ooh, it's Cho. damage. It's Cho? Ooh. It's Cho'd? I like Cho'Gath. I like Cho'Gath. Cho'Gath is that... so good against Alistar actually. I, I'm so fucking scared for C9. How are they gonna have enough damage with Victor out, Ori banned? How are they gonna have enough damage to ever bust through Cho'Gath? Zillion? No. Not Zillion. It's not. Silly. That's not happening. You need to play something Silas. super high damage. Okay, there it is, Silas. Uh, no. It's a Yo, C9 lost, guys. I don't know. I, I don't think they have any damage. Like, how are they gonna kill anybody? It just has to get fed. Yeah. I think of Silas as a bruiser, so he's like seventy percent of a damage dealer, and then they yeah. have a double tank top side. And Tristana, I just don't know if that's enough. Like it's it's not right, just snowball with dragons. I mean, like a behind Silas is definitely just a bruiser, but if he can get ahead, he's a fucking monster. I I hate uh I actually hate playing Trist against Cho, because it feels kind of hard to dodge his Q. I mean, obviously you can jump away, but that feels like shit as well. Maybe I'm overestimating it. I think what you can dodge Cho gets Q like pretty consistently with Trist. I think I might be just trolling. It's just having nightmares trying to dodge it on 70 ping. Also, yeah. because because Fudge takes two jungle camps, he TP's bot at level two, and so he's not diveable on the stacked wave. Yeah, yeah. So it's really thing in one v two. It's fuck. the only top laner that can do this in the one v two, and it, it, the whole point of it is not to help anybody except for jungle. It fucks enemy jungler more than it helps anybody else. He's so gonna die to the Grand Blue, right? Yo, Alfar getting first blood early on this one. Oh shit! Wait, he has E level one. Wait, Vulcan W him. Flash W. Yeah. Alfari literally dying. Every gank. Five consecutive. Five games first first bloods in a row. That's impressive. <laughs> I mean, this is a fucking cheese. This Ooh. is so fucking funny, actually. You know, maybe I'm overestimating. Sounds pretty good. It sounds sounds pretty good. But oh, what the fuck? Whoever flashed in. Uh. He's gonna was, flash. That was really that shit. Oh, that's a kill. Holy fucking shit. Wow. Damn. Perks. Perks' Silas is fucking insane. <laughs> what the yeah. fuck? He had to hit everything. Everything. There. Everything. And that was on a ghosted Hecarim. Like, that's definitely not a guaranteed target that he for sure could have missed there. Yeah. I mean, it's represented in his CS, though, right? Yeah, it is already. It's already being counted in his in his total gold count. Look at yeah. this. Fudge has to flash out Ooh. instantly. But F Perks is here, oh. and he can steal. He can steal an ulti yeah, before right, they have yeah. ulti. <laughs> I actually, sh I actually wish he would have stolen Cho'Gath ulti and been super greedy there because there's no way that Alfari lives, so he could get a stack of it right there. Really, Damn, really nice. Damn, dude, Alfari is fucking sending it today. Yeah, he really <laughs> is. At least early game. Yeah, I mean he's he's playing well later, but he's dying a lot. I want to see Mercs this game. C9 makes some plays with like Alistair, Silas, either on mid or bottom. Whoa. 
They're going in. That was Ooh. fucking aggressive. He's I, fucking I, dead. I love it. I love it. Ooh. I love that they Dude, jumped on that opportunity. He just full healed off core. Yeah, he just full healed. Look at how much CDR he has. Gank. I I have <laughs> to say, like, I'm so disappointed, and I, I I always thought this about Sven, right? Like, I always knew this about Sven. Like, it sounds like I'm just shitting on him, but like, he's not somebody who is able to grow his leads super well compared to other AD carries. He has like other strengths. He's good in other ways. He started the game off with first blood. And Tactical is just fucking free farming this matchup, and this is not easy. I, I don't think that when I look at AD carry items, I should see them being dead even in items like this. After what happened early. Oh well, what can you do? Doesn't necessarily uh, always punish you for is being he in there. Yeah. Pussy? <laughs> eh, oh. Sometimes, perhaps. I mean, he does oh. seem to win a lot. There might be this is not good it. for TL. This Ooh. is not good. Num 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 num. And the zombie's so just beating his ass. Oh. Oh fuck. Wow, that barely no missed. What yeah. the fuck? Ugh. It's kind of ugly right now. Yeah, that was an ugly Hecarim ult. Which one? The real Hecarim or the fake the Hecarim? Perks Hecarim? The Silas Hecarim. Mm. Oh, missed the cannon. That's the series. Um, I think both AD carries <laughs> moving up here was kind of oh. questionable. Oh, oh Korg got canceled. Oh. He has a flash. Oh, he's actually okay. Yeah, Didn't and I think this is Perks. that. Oh. Oh, oh no, the shut last down to Kaisa. Oh, no. That's not oh, what you want. Oh god. Oh god. It's so close. I think C9 has to give this. They're just outnumbered here. Does anyone care about this hero? Why, why would C9 fight this? I don't know. Okay. If I was Tristana, I would have just fucking pushed the sh ever living shit out of bot lane and taken turret already. No Gale Force. Honestly, this is a game. But for you fucking... really? Yeah, it's actually a cracking game. <laughs> it's a cracking game. Yeah, dude, they only have Scion, Alistair, Udir, and you think you need it back in Slayer? Five squishies? <laughs> Five squishies. <laughs> oh, shit. Good what counter engage. This? this is so it's fucking what? boosted. They're two dead instantly. Can they turn the wow, fight through five? Vulcan not just have ult? Wait, it's kind of close, though. Yeah. Sven is doing oh. no damage right now. Alfari's pretty caught. Oh. That was the joust. He scooped. Oh, shit. This is fucking close, by the way. Oh, shit, Sven. He has flash. Spends out one HP. Spends out one HP. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. 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 Oh, Wait, did C9 down. actually just outplay this like that? Fuck no. What Holy the fuck? Shit. That was a full on 3v5. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Sven got a reset off one of the kills on the side, so he got the double jump. Dude. Yeah, he did. He did. <laughs> that, that was that was incredible presence of mind for Sven to pre jump what? before the flash. Like I, I don't know if he's just doing it out of like, you know, kinda absent minded like spamming W, but like that was really good by Sven. He doesn't yeah, I, yeah. like you have Jesus. to think like, oh like am I gonna get flashed on here? Like maybe I'll just pre jump for literally no reason other than to predict that he's gonna flash and then Tactical obviously misplayed by doing it too slow. Like he just did it. He literally just jumped too fucking slow. He's so happy about Holy that shit. Outplay. Smile Sven's smiling? Holy fuck. Has that ever happened? I don't think so. Oh, no, shit. I don't think in the finals. Wait, perks? Wait, perks? <laughs> he has Zonia. Oh, my God. He's dead. Oh, damn. They didn't go wow, to Jensen. that was fucking optimistic. <laughs> if he hit his E, he would have killed, actually, but still, like, what the fuck? <laughs> they yeah. should be absolutely oh. on their hands and knees. Oh, no. Vulcan's hesitating. He might not make it to the cone. Yeah, oh, he's shit. Not oh my god, Cone. Fuck you, Sven bro. is fucking dead. Oh my god. Wait, Sven's not dead. Nice ulti by him. Yeah, that was a really nice ult by yeah. Chris. Oh my god. Tactical's looking Tactical. pretty domed. Tactical's oh. getting ping ponged. Yo, Fudge is going to catch Jensen here. Jensen's Ooh. fucked. Jensen's fucked. How far with the flash W? No. <laughs> oh my god. That's so awkward. Oh. And that's the Alfari? series. Can that is the series right there. Ladies and gentlemen. This is probably one of the fucking nuttiest finals that has ever happened in LCS. It's not just like, it's n nothing that you'd expect. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's actually it's two good teams. Perks pretty close. Inting pretty his place. life off, but also smurfing his life off. Like, it's like Perks just, it, all that matters is Perks. He's yeah, just, he's actually smurfing for sure. He's smurfing, he's giving, he's dying for free, then he's TPing the flank right after he respawns. Like, fucking everything is just crazy. The The fact that Hecarim got his ult blown in the very, very beginning, like, actually swung this fight so hard. Because if, yeah. if Sven gets fucked right here off of Hecarim ulti, he's fucking dead. I'm being optimistic, and I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that Victor is not the one with a shit ton of gold. 
Like, Victor still is at one one item, and it's about to be yeah. sold. Like, if I saw Victor at two items, three items, okay, now we're in business. Oh, oh, oh Armeo inted! God, Armeo inted! Uh, yeah, I think he did try to save Alfari. He did yeah. save Alfari, but... He eat in there, right? Yeah, yeah I mean, Alfari was 100% caught. He was going to die. Actually, what yeah. happened is uh, Fudge started his ulti, and then Armeo kind of like... Jumped out and straight into Fudge's ulti, so he got knocked up immediately after his ult. Fudge Holy is. Holy shit, dude! It, it's actually Perks's comfort zone. About to lose a fucking best of series. He lives for this shit. Yep. Yeah. Oh shit. Alfari's gonna go for Alfari's the. Alfari's going for steel. That's their only way. I think they bursted at 1.5. Oh, oh. oh god. Oh my god. Dude, that's gonna do so much. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, oh. they got the soul. Oh. oh. Alfari's uh -oh. blocked. Alfari's fucking dead, but so is Vulcan. Why did Vulcan kill himself? And that's game again. Another series for Cloud9. <laughs> How many times has a team won the series today? It's <laughs> getting up there. It is. You have to win by two, though, I, so they're still in it. I'm really surprised that no one warded over the wall to see Alfari do that. Like, I, I think most teams would take that more slowly, being the team that's 10k gold ahead, right? You take it a little more slowly. And you do all the steps, you ward over the wall, make sure that you get it, but good for them, they still got it, it's just, it was so scary. I think in this game, Grievous Wounds is a luxury, and when you're really behind, you don't yeah, have... Yeah, yeah, it's not like doing anything. You don't have the extra I'm gold. It's pretty God. fucking good against Silas. How long did that guy not able to move? Like, how he long just, did Armeo just stand there, I'm unable to control his cocked. character? Oh, oh Perks, Perks, with his ulti, with his ulti so hard. Ult. Perks might die, Perks might uh -oh. die! He's uh -oh. dead, he's dead! Is he oh. dead? No. Nope. Oh. Nope. 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 It's GG. Oh my god. Holy yeah, shit. Wait. C9 does it again. Santorin breathes a sigh of relief, clap. man. He's like, holy shit, my spot. We back, boys. <laughs> god damn. Hoggers! It's a dub! They're gonna go touch C9, the trophy. C9, the kings of spring split. <laughs> Shake the ha uh, fans' hands. Unfortunately, a wise man once said something about spring split not mattering. Oh, it jokes, matters. Jokes, Don't jokes, you jokes. worry. That was when MSI would didn't, uh, was canceled, though. We're going to actually mm. see some bangers Dude, it's at MSI. so bright. Oh, my God. Uh, why guys, did only two of them touch why, the trophy? Yeah, why, did, why is everyone end. else so late to touch the trophy? They sprinted. He didn't see them. <laughs> Social distance. Hold up. Something that isn't talked about too much is just how much better Fudge is now than before. Like, he was a laughing stock in lock in, and now he's making an Alfari struggle. Like, obviously, it's not just him. It's. Solo killed Alfari every single yeah. game. Wait, okay. Darshan's up there. <laughs> yeah. Darshan. Darshan's like, hell yeah, guys, I helped. Let's go. That's Darshan does not even look happy. Nope. <laughs> Darshan, look, look at him on the side, too. He's like, that should be me. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, man, I wish my general would gank for me like that. <laughs> Wait, it's two to two still? Holy fuck, and we got ourselves a series! Holy shit, after we called it ten times, the series is still not over. <laughs> it keeps going and going. Is that a, is that a reference? What, going? I don't know, maybe.